Today I thought I would tackle some DIY. I've had an ongoing problem for quite a while actually with the runners in one of my underbed storage drawers coming loose and the drawer keeps falling off of the guides. So I thought that I would tackle the problem and see what was going on. Eventually one of the guide wheels fell off so I've got to work out how to put that back on again as well but also some of the runners have come loose from the drawer so I need to refix the screws on these because as you can see well you might not be able to see from here but they're completely loose might be able to hear the, the metallic noise and I just need to either put those screws back in or put better screws in I'll check both sides and the other side wasn't so bad but that left hand one was really loose And as you can see, if I show you here, on the runner that's actually on the bed, there should be a little wheel on the end there, and that just sheared right off. So I've got to find a way of putting that back in as well, which is really annoying. And there's the little wheel. It has like a metal rivet through it, almost like a Levi button stud. So I need to find a way to get that off. But first I'm going to sort the screws out. See the original screws are quite short and they've come loose over time. So I'm putting much longer ones in, which will really help solve the problem of just keeping the runners attached to the drawer. I keep quite a small DIY kit at home. It's a couple of screwdrivers, a hammer, nails and screws that I've acquired over time. It's nothing very formidable, but it does tend to get me out of trouble for small things like this. And of course, because I'm renting, any bigger DIY projects would have to be dealt with by the landlord anyway, so I don't need much. So that's that bit done. Now I've got to try and work out how to get this rivet off, which has turned out to be really, really difficult. In fact, I tried all sorts of things. I tried cutting it out, prising it apart, hammering it off, trying to hit a nail through the middle of it to break it apart. It's been well made. And no matter what I did, it just didn't want to come out. I don't want to give up on it though because I'd really like to get the original wheel back on the runner. So I didn't want to completely damage it which I was in danger of doing because the actual wheel itself is only made of plastic. But I can't get the middle out. I think what I'm going to do is take it down when I next go to my parents and my dad will have a metal coping saw somewhere and there's just enough room to get a blade in there and I'll just cut it out and then I can put it back on where it's supposed to be. But this was really frustrating and I spent several hours. I also walked up the road to my local DIY shop to see if I could find something that would be a good replacement for the plastic wheel. But there was nothing there. I 
as you can see, I tried absolutely everything and decided it wasn't worth it in the end because this little bit of metal was not going to come apart at all. But going up the road to the DIY shop did give me a couple of ideas for ways that I could make a replacement, at least short term. And I already had some bags of washers left over from an art project. So I thought, well, if I can get washers that are the same diameter, and I had a load of those, if I stack three or four together to make the width of the wheel, could I just screw it in to the gap where the old one used to be? Theoretically, that should do the job, shouldn't it? So here we are. Unfortunately, the screws I'm using are second hand and they were starting to thread, so it was really hard to get this to screw into the wood on the bed base, which was a lot tougher than the wood they'd used on the drawers. But I think for now, it'll do. And then when I go down to my parents, I'll get the actual wheel sorted. It hasn't quite done the job. The, divan, it, the, the drawer does still not sit properly on the bed and I think it's because this replacement isn't wide enough to accommodate the runner. It's a temporary fix as a lot of DIY jobs end up being but uh, it's better than having the drawer just completely hanging out and damaging the wheel on the other side which is what's starting to happen because of the pressure that's on it. Um, that bed is second hand. I bought it when I moved in here. I bought that bed, chest of drawers and the sofa, sofa suite for, it was, I think it was £220 from the British Heart Foundation charity shop. I didn't want to spend a lot. I didn't know how long I was going to be here and I was of the mind that if I left here I'd probably get rid of all the furniture, send it back to the charity shop and start again because it's just so cheap. But um, it's, it's done me well and I want to do a reasonable job of my repairs so that it lasts, so that it isn't damaged if I do need to send it back to a charity shop at some point because they won't take it. So I'm going to try and finish off the wheel properly when I go back home in a couple of months time. Um, for now it'll just have to do.